really make a difference. Um, calling uh, Mike Saban. Uh, thank you, Mr cool. Chair. The debate this afternoon on the purchase age, can I just firstly acknowledge the Minister and the Chair uh, in terms of the wider uh, uh, reforms in the Alcohol Reform Bill. I also acknowledge uh, the member um, Tim McIndoe for his SOP that I will be supporting. Uh, 17 years uh, background in both policing, and drug education and policy, and I to some extent believe that I've had some grassroots experience in understanding the context of the problems this nation uh, is grappling with. I will be asking members to raise the purchase age to 20 for two core reasons, Mr Chair. Uh, firstly, the biological and physiological uh, uh, side of the discussion, and secondly, in terms of culture change and empowering communities. Mr Chair, in terms of the biology, the adolescent brain uh, is uh, biologically quite different uh, from that of a grown, matured adult. The human brain is the most complex tapestry in the known universe, Mr Chair. We are born with 100 billion neurons, each capable of making around 10,000 connections with one another, and that's just as a baby. And the, the changes in the brain are dramatic over the course of the adolescent years, uh, Mr Chair. That is the time that most of the change is occurring. It is the time that scientists will tell us, uh, that brain scientists will tell us the brain is most susceptible uh, to harm. Uh, it is also a time, uh, Mr Chair, where the brain is absorbing drugs uh, and alcohol, in particular in this discussion, uh, eight times quicker and metabolises them some three times slower. Uh, the problems that can occur in an adolescent brain, uh, Mr Chair, can lead to a far higher probability of ongoing problems in adult life, uh, not just with addiction but also in terms of overall brain function. Uh, Mr Chair, uh, alcohol is a depressant in that it slows brain function. Um, the first uh, impact or effect of alcohol is to impair judgment. The second is to lower inhibition and alongside that to stimulate dopamine and give a pleasure or reinforcement to that activity. Therefore, Mr Chair, what we're talking about is the first thing that happens to an 18-year-old brain is that brain is impaired, it slows, uh, the judgment is altered, uh, and it's reinforced. In my view, there is a big difference between an 18-year-old brain and a 20-year-old brain, not just in terms of how it metabolises alcohol, but in terms of the maturity of the individual, their judgment, their ability to make decisions, and the influence uh, of their peers at that stage. Mr Chair, I believe that there is a difference between an 18 and a 20 year old and the long and short of it is I believe the longer we can delay the uptake or certainly the heavy abuse of alcohol, the better it will be for that individual. As part of the studies that I did uh, looking at drug policy, it was quite clear from examples in the United States uh, since prohibition that as the drinking age rose, the harm reduced as the uh, uh, sorry, the uh, purchase age um, reduced, uh, so the harm increased. Mr Chair, just in terms of the culture change and empowerment, uh, as a drug educator I spoke to some 150,000 people around the country over five years. The overwhelming sentiment from the people that I stood in front of was that the purchase age, uh, sorry, uh, the, purchase age the change at, that had occurred in 1999 was a major contributor to the drinking problems we have now. I don't necessarily agree that that is the case, but it is the perception, and that perception has become a very strong reality, Mr Chair. Uh, therefore, a change in the purchase age will indeed have a major impact in terms of sending a message that culture change must occur. And I believe that that message is very important, Mr Chair. And in, in terms of sending a message and empowering our communities by saying we acknowledge that this uh, change has been a contributing factor, albeit I don't believe it's the only factor, but it's certainly one of the big ones, that by changing it we are empowering a community that we will rely on in the time moving forward, because the purchase agent itself is not the panacea. We will grapple with this problem for a long time yet, and we need the public support to do that. And they are looking to us in this House today to give them the tools to say we acknowledge that this has been an issue and that the changing the age is sending that message that is so desperately needed. Mr Chair, as I say, it won't solve all the problems, but we need uh, the public on our side. And I want members to consider both 
the physical and biological impacts of alcohol, and I want them to consider that we need parents and community on our side. Mr Chair, I employ members of this House to raise the purchase age to... Honourable Mr Chairman, I intend...